Sample problem. What mass of lithium chloride must have dissolved if the temperature of 200 grams of water increased by 6 degrees Celsius? The molar enthalpy of the solution of the lithium chloride is minus 37 kilojoules per mole. Now, thing with this question, right, and as we talked about before, was that we had delta H of whatever the reaction is, right, is equal to Q. All right. So whatever the reaction is and pretty much um, our surroundings. Right. So in this reaction, we've got lithium chloride. All right. So now this lithium chloride value, right, this delta H, we are getting um, to be a minus 37 kilojoules per mole, which means this Q value, because this side, if this side is negative, this side is going to be positive, right? So if this side is negative, right, that means this reaction, right, this temperature, notice this temperature, the temperature of the surroundings of the water of this increased, right? So if the temperature increased, that means we know we have an exothermic reaction. So let's actually work this uh, this question out. So here's a list of some of the in important information uh, that we actually have. Uh, we've got a mass of 200 grams of water. We've got a delta T uh, of 6 degrees Celsius, which is uh, increased. We've got a delta uh, H of the solution to be uh, 37 uh, kilojoules per mole. Right. Uh, we've got uh, a C value, which is 4.8. And notice it's kilojoules per kilogram degree Celsius, which means we are going to have to convert this to uh, kilograms, which will be equal to 0 0.2 kilograms. And the reason why we do this is, look at the units here of the delta H that's given. It's given to us in kilojoules. So we're gonna wanna make sure that our C value is gonna be in kilojoules, but also change uh, to, to keep kilojoules per kilogram, so you, you're not really changing because odds are the values that you're given are gonna be in joules per gram degrees Celsius. However, in to convert joules to kilojoules, there are a thousand joules, All right? Now to convert gr uh, grams to kilograms, there are a thousand grams. So in other words, one to one as we have here or a thousand to a thousand is still one to one so all you have to do is just change make sure that you're changing the units to kilojoules and kilograms instead of joules and grams right so all you're doing is if your units are joules per gram just add k to both of these if your delta h is in kilojoules per mole Right, so we've got a molar mass of lithium chloride being 42.4 um, grams per mole, and we can actually find the actual mass of um, the lithium chloride. Now, as we've said before, right, our um, delta H right, of reaction is equal to our Q value, right? So our delta H pretty much uh, is in uh, is as n delta h of solution right and it's a solution why because lithium chloride is dissolving in water right our value here of q right which is m c delta t so here we have now our uh, n value we can actually find the um, the number of moles um, and that's actually really what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the number of moles. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this delta H of solution. So to do that, we're going to divide this side by delta H of the solution, divide this side by delta H of solution. So now those divide out, and all we're left with is N is equal to MC delta T over delta H. So let's substitute our numbers. Now the mass here is the mass of the water, right? Because this is part of our Q. So our mass of the water, 0 0.2 kilograms. Our C value, as we said, the specific heat capacity of water, 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram degrees Celsius. Our change in temperature, 
as we said, is 6 degrees Celsius. And we're going to divide this by a negative 37. Oops, negative. Let me delete part of this. So negative 37 kilojoules per mole. Now, a few things to keep in mind. Well, I like to include my units. Why? Because I use my units to figure out what the units will be of my final answer. Now, because we are trying to find the value of n, which is the number of moles, we cannot have a negative value. And if we continue with this question as is, our answer is going to give us a negative value. And in fact, we do not have a negative value. We cannot have a negative mole value. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore this. But remember, because this delta H uh, of solution was 37 kilojoules per, per mole, right? This told us that we had an exothermic reaction, which means that energy or heat was released by the lithium chloride to the water. As a result of lithium chloride releasing heat, it released heat where? To the water. What happened to the water? It increased temperature. By how much? Six degrees Celsius. So anyhow, let's go back to this question. So when we multiply all this out, um, we get a value. Uh, and I'm going to round it off. Just I'm going to do something I, I shouldn't be doing. Um, and we're going to get a value of 0 0.1 four which really is should, should be should be uh, actually I'm not gonna do it actually I won't re reduce it so it's, I'm gonna get this value 0 0.13556 um, seven five six seven moles so this is my end value this is the number of moles um, that I'm gonna have of lithium chloride based on this mass so what I'm gonna do now I've got the number of moles I've got the mass, the molar mass, sorry, of lithium chloride, which is 42.4 degrees Celsius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this value here. I'm going to multiply it by 42.4 grams per mole. Again, keeping the units, moles divide out. All I'm left with are grams. So the mass of the lithium chloride is equal to 5.7486 dot 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 keeps going right grams but least number of significant digits in my question are two so this 5.7 uh, are my two uh, decimal uh, significant digits so the mass is equal to 5.7 grams so in other words, the mass of the lithium chloride that's required to raise this temperature by of the water by 6 degrees Celsius when it dissolves in the water right, is going to be 5.7 grams.